thank you for stopping by my channel make sure you subscribe click that bell double click it so you get notifications on all and while you're at it make sure your phone has notifications turned on hi beauties it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and today I'm coming with a collab from the global monthly um, collab team so let me go ahead I'll put their information down below in the description box it'll have everybody's link down there so you can go ahead and check out their channel if you are new to my channel and you're coming from another group please put the name of the person who sent you and I just want to say hello to them and hello to you and welcome so let me go ahead it's also new catalog day so I'm gonna be using this Bo blossoms in bloom I'm gonna be using this stamp here I'm also going to be using these two little flowers, the middle part right there, and then I'm going to use that Hello stamp set. I'm also going to be using from these dies, this is the Tasteful Labels dies. I'm going to be using this, I'll just take them out since I'm going to be using them, these two circular pieces here, and these labels are just so great if you like to put labels in your cards. So let's go ahead, I'll set these aside for right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that clear floral piece and the two little pieces, and I'm going to find room for these little pieces to kind of fit in there. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna put another one right about there and fitting them up rather nicely so that it all looks like one piece there so then I have to tell you the catalog just went live today so I got my order in but the new in colors this came in the paper pumpkin so this is the only chance that we're getting to play with these in colors so this chose I chose misty moonlight for that I'm also going to be using the balmy blue and then for my papers I have um, whisper white thick for my base I have that cut lengthwise right at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half so I have that beautiful piece there I then have a piece of the misty moonlight another piece of the Whisper White, and this is just the regular Whisper White, and then I have a scrap piece um, for that Hello. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I want to use this guy here on my Misty, and this is gonna be my background and my piece here. So when I cut that out, I'm going to have this piece, right? So I have that done. And now I have this piece, and I just want to show you, I'm still going to be using this as my background. See how it fits there? And then once I'm done with stamping on this piece, it's going to cover up the piece I cut out. So I'm using those pieces and nobody even knows. I could even cut out another couple if I wanted to or another type of label. So make sure you do that. That's just a quick little tip. And then let's go ahead and get stamping. We're gonna bring out our little piece here and then our little misty moonlight spot. If you haven't seen in the catalog, they're bringing colored spots back. You can get a whole set of 10 um, spots. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's really nice to use with the um, Stamparatus. So we're gonna stamp that. We've got our little hello. And now we're gonna take this guy, it fits perfectly in there. And we're gonna run that through the cutting machine and you're gonna get this little hello. And now that we have that, 
let's go ahead and get some of our adhesive. I'm still using the snail adhesive because, again, ordering the other um, would not be in time for me to make this video. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle there. Maybe I should have used some Tombow because that helps and gives you some time to get that all lined up perfectly center. But that's good enough. It's a handmade card, right? So we've got that part. And then I'm also going to be using a piece of this new uh, in color ribbon. And this is the cinnamon, what's the name of it? Cinnamon Cider. And I just think that goes so well with that Misty Marina. What's it called? <laughs> Misty Moonlight. <laughs> All right, let's get moving on this piece here. So I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to put some balmy blue because I always work the light, lightest to dark. So I'm going to ink this guy up really well, really nicely. put that right on here. I'm just going to line it up right in the center there. We're going to push that down, give it enough time to ink up. And while I'm doing that, if that sticks, I'm going to grab it. Yes. And I'm going to put my um, my mat, my pierce mat down. And they're keeping this pierce mat. They were going to retire it, but they decided not to. And with these stamps, it really helps push and gives it a little bit of oomph there. So that's what I'm going to use that for. Almost forgot. And then I'm going to pull that guy off and look at that. Isn't that so cool? So that's my lighter color. And now I'm going to go in with my darker color. But first, I'm going to run this quickly through my chamois here to get some of that color off. And that's another reason why I work from light to dark. Just in case some of that does stay on there, you don't want to be dark in your light ink. Alright, so I've got that. And now I've got my Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to put that all on here as well. It's a little bit harder. I'm going to actually rub it because I don't want those little squares. And I just want a little bit of dark color on here as well. And you can go darker and lighter if you want. Whatever you'd like. But I just love these little inks. I'm going a little darker around the outsides here. But I'm getting rid of any of those um, squares that are put on by the spot. So be careful with that. All right. I think we're good. going to get that piercing mat again. And we're going to line that up. If it's off just a little bit, it could also um, maybe even be a little bit better. In fact, I'm going to place it just off center very lightly. and then get that on there. Look at that. Super pretty. It gives a great little watercolor look. 
And then I'm going to go in with those little dots again. And we're going to put those in full force with that uh, misty moonlight. There we go. Just putting them in there. So if you do not yet have a demonstrator in the U.S., I would love for um, you to join me in my Stampin' Adventures. I've got these two little ones, but I don't want to make them whole. So I'm going to clean this off. And we are going to do a half stamp. So we're going to only put a little bit of these dots on here. So if you could see, I don't have the marker yet, otherwise I would typically use the marker. And then line that up and just add a few dots there. And then the same here. There we go. Super cute, and you can add some dots here and there if you want to fill it in, but I kind of like just leaving it as is. And now we can go ahead and build the rest of our card. This is my information here. If you wanted to go ahead and place an order, just go to jeanpearsani.stampinup.net. You can use the June host code which is BMWN7URU. Or you can go to beautyandthestamper.com. That is my blog site. You can also go here to sign up for my newsletter. And then, just so you know, the July class is going to be the Beautiful World Bundle or the World of Good Suite that includes the Beautiful World Bundle. So it's your choice. Either one of those will get you into my July class and you guys we are going to be doing a great project the world of sweet is going to be amazing the world of good sweet so all right let's get back to this card it is so cute look at that all right let's go ahead we're going to cut a piece of this i'm going to cut a good good length there And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the Tombow glue because I want to be able to move it around and get it right in line. I love this glue. And I'm going to get this right in there. And you just measure up these sides, and then once you get that, once you put it down, it should be perfect. Yep, there we go. I'm going to flip this over. Oh, forgot about that glue right there. <laughs> Which means I probably got some glue here. I certainly did. Okay. You know me. It is not a card or a video without a nice little goof up there. It's going to work out rather nicely here. Let's see. I'm going to do it this way. We're just going to move this over and we're just going to do a simple tie, not a bow. Get that nice and tight there. And then tie that as well. And then, if you need to do any flipping or anything like that, now's the time to do it. And before we're done, 
I want to get this little hello. I'll move this up a little bit. Such a cute stamp, and I love that off center look with these florals. All right, we've got that down. We're going to go ahead and put this on here. And again, we're going to measure those sides up, and hopefully it matches up nice. If not, that's what's so great about the glue, is it gives you just a little bit of time there. And then, the last thing I want to do is grab some dimensionals. And I'm down to my last ones here, but that is okay. We're gonna just use the edges. We're gonna cut off a piece, another piece, and this will actually work really well because we'll put a piece toward the top there, and then we'll put another piece toward the bottom. And then of course we get out our Take your pick tool. I can't wait for all the new ink colors to, to come. And then we just put our little hello right there. And then it's up to you if you want to make this into a bow or if you just want it to be kind of hanging there, which is what I'd like to do. So I'm just going to cut at an angle here. And this is my card. I hope you like it. And please check out everybody else's videos. Everybody works so hard to make these videos for you. And I am off. I cannot wait to go get my nails done now that we're finally out of quarantine. So you guys won't have to deal with all my crazy funky nails from now on. But all right. I hope you like this. Again, here is my information. Please subscribe to my channel and I would love to be your demonstrator for the United States if you don't have one already. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the catalog. I will put the link down below for you to look at the brand new catalog as well. Have a wonderful day. Bye.